Welcome to another channel update. My name is Nilaus. So if you've watched my Factorio place and uh, don't know what I look like, this is it. If you know who I am, if you're on Twitch or just have been just sort of keeping up with uh, what's going on, that's uh, this is sort of a recurring thing. I do try every month to do a short channel update about what's going on with the channel, what's coming, what's uh, happening, what my thoughts are, and well, this is it. Every time I plan these out, uh, I always end up having more to more things to talk about than I really want. So maybe I should incorporate this into my streaming schedule and basically just say maybe like once a week, just start off a stream or do a, a spot with them. I'm, I'm just brainstorming here. That's actually a good idea. I think I might want to do that. So it could be like Sundays or something. Anyway, first uh, we talk about the prospect of content creation in general. Well, it's been a year. I gave myself, uh, it's been a year of full-time content creation for me. And I gave myself a year just to evaluate, give it a shot, figure out if I like it or not. And well, I do like it. So for the time being, I'm going to continue doing this. It of course depends on how things are working out. But so far I'm thoroughly enjoying uh, the lifestyle that is uh, facilitated by being a, uh, a gamer and a streamer. So that's, um, gives me flexibility and uh, as long as it can sort of work out economically then I'm going to continue to do that. So let's focus on something. One of the things that I really want to highlight is this video is brought to you by the beautiful people on Patreon. So um, as you may notice I do not have a sponsored content on my channel and that's for two reasons. I, not because I don't get any offers, but because the offers I get are not interesting to me. If I am to get sponsored by something, it's something I have to be 100% uh, vouching for, and I have not found anything, and I also really want to keep my independence in that regard, so that you know that if I evaluate a game, it's because I like it, or then you will know if I don't like it. And it also just gives me the, um, yeah, I, I want to be uh, authentic and sincere and I don't believe that it's always possible if you or I know I believe it's not possible if you turn your channel into just a um, an ad and uh, I don't want to do that. So that's why Patreon comes in. Patreon is the most important part of my disability of my income. I hate talking about this, but I just really want to highlight the importance that Patreon plays this because patronage it's a, it's a higher payout than on Twitch and uh, um, it's also something that the people on Patreon are sticking around for a longer time which means that it gives me in, uh, a semblance of stability uh, in, in terms of sort of income and that means the world to me when you have mortgage and kids and other expenses you need to pay for. So uh, having that uh, looking at Patreon and saying it's probably going to be somewhat the same next month uh, unless I um, I do something stupid, then um, that that really uh, really what carries me. Um, YouTube is not a source of revenue. It is um, I can just show you if you look on the screen. Uh, you can't really see this here, but it said it does say Litecoin Foundation. That used to be Brothgar's channel. Brothgar, if you don't know, he is was a um, a uh, very successful Oxygen Not Included YouTuber uh, who grew his channel tremendously. And about two weeks ago, his channel got hacked and YouTube gives fucko about it. So now it's uh, it's uh, spewing shit with Litecoin and I don't, believe, I don't believe he's been doing anything that I haven't been doing in terms of browsing shady websites. He just got um, men, was a subject to a men in the middle attack and He's fucked now. So that's why I'm also relying less and less on YouTube and creating less content specifically for YouTube. It is at this point primarily my ongoing Factorio series and that will continue. But me recording specific things for YouTube is probably not going to happen for two reasons. It's a shitty uh, payback uh, I get and always subject to, for example, stuff like Star Wars, uh, Fallen Order, Jedi Order thing. Yeah, it got demonetized because it has Star Wars music in. It's a freaking Star Wars game. So 
it's it's just really difficult. YouTube has gone to shit. So I, I consider this uh, YouTube as a as a marketing platform where I can show my content to you and where you can watch VODs and uh, recordings. But if you want to engage, the primary living space for me is on Twitch. I really enjoy the the direct communication. Well, with the, back to the Nilos delay, but it's certainly less than uh, recording YouTube uh, content on my own. So I'm I'm going to uh, double down on streaming. Nothing new here. You know this. I'm streaming a lot. I enjoy streaming, even for when it's not that many people watching. I just really enjoy it. So that's going to happen more. Now on the topic of streaming, I've been noticing. Uh, uh, noticing something as late and it's not something that you've done it's just something that I'm reflecting on it's um, I um, I like talking about real life stuff and this is what you call renting and I just enjoy it I enjoy being able to pause the game and just go on uh, chatting about something whether it's recruiting or agile or management or even politics or movies or anything that comes to mind. I feel that's my privilege as a streamer to have a, when I have a platform to, have, to talk about whatever the hell I want. And I do. However, and that's something that I think I can also add something unique than just playing the game. Um, however, I don't want that to take a takeover and I don't really like when I get the sense that sometimes I get the sense that there are some people in chat who are just there just hoping for me to be politically incorrect uh, for a good laugh and not for the rest of it. So I need to be a bit aware of this because it is a fine balance to strike. I need to make sure that it um, I want to talk about the stuff I do and but it's it has to be come natural to me. So I'm not proclaiming any change, but please do consider if you are there that going like, ooh, what good rants did he do? What did he rave and rant and complain and bitch about? Like, all right, well, that that's actually kind of derogatory towards me. So maybe be a bit more considerate. Um, here I go and rant again. I do uh, I do like talking about stuff and I want to do that, but I wanted to be a dialogue about. Uh, all things so be sure to raise topics that you would like my input on as long as it's done in a friendly manner and there will be some topics that i just don't want to talk about i do like when we have an, a discussion about things outside of games or tangential to games in the, in the stream chat which i really love that's also why i love games that are slow uh, like victorio satisfactory dark dungeon or turn-based games so we can stop and have a chat about what we like anyway let's talk about some of the content on the channel well, you know, um, the Beltalota is continuing on Twitch. It is. It. I feel it's been kind of slowing down in in terms of uh, of uh, engagement, participation, and I don't know kind of how it's turning out to be much more difficult for me to build a proper nice base. But we're starting to get some structure to it. I really like it. I like the slow pace of it. The methodical sort of uh, alternating between making a mess and then cleaning up the mess and gradually it'll get uh, get bigger and better but it's still like two steps forward one step backwards so it's a bit different it's not like super efficient effective like the previous series was which is also part of the point of this anyway our chain megabase is continuing on youtube i really enjoy it i enjoy recording it i enjoy doing the behind the scenes but it's taking a lot of time um, so I hope that you are enjoying it and uh, want to continue watching it because that's really what uh, what keeps me going. Um, we're going to run into some issues with this. It's also a, a cool way for me to showcase all you lovely Patreons out there by giving you a train each and giving you the glorious opportunity to run me over if I'm being careless or yeah, unlucky. Anyway. New content, Satisfactory is coming back. There's a new update hitting uh, the 11th. So depending on when you watch it, it's either tomorrow, today, in the past. So that means on Twitch, there will be a new series coming on. It will not be recorded for YouTube. It will not be migrated to YouTube. So if you want to watch it, head on over to Twitch. That's where it's going to be. I may do some tutorials and that kind of thing for, uh, for Satisfactory or some showcase or some kind of things like that. 
but I'm not going to make a let's play for Satisfactory because it is a slow game, so it is much better to fit. It has much better fit to uh, to Twitch. That means my schedule upcoming will be different. Generally, it will be Satisfactory Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Factorio Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Leaving, um, and also I also want to touch upon like the whole playing new games. I did it for a bit. I was burning through a lot of money buying games that I didn't particularly enjoy. So I'm going to be more selective. And when I find a game, I still want suggestions for games. When I find a game, I'm going to schedule some time for it. Either a Friday or a Saturday seems better for this. And uh, then play it like this. Now, so that means new series coming up. That should be awesome. I hope you will support it. I hope you'll be joining. I'm looking so much forward to coming back to Satisfactory. Seems like there's tons of new stuff. Now, other content. Let's start with the new things. XCOM 2. I used to play Witcher in the morning. It was fun, but I need a bit of a break for it. I've been trudging through, uh, um, yeah, that that for for a while now, and I need a break. I still have the two expansions to go, and I'll come back to that at some point. Maybe it's a summer thing, but I want to start something new and exciting and in tune and with what I really like and enjoy. So XCOM it is. Uh, Phoenix Point did not scratch my XCOM itch, so it's back to X XCOM. So I'll be uh, streaming that on Twitch in the mornings. It'll probably be like three streams a week uh, in the mornings. I will be taking these and each mission will be uh, migrated to YouTube. It'll be cut a bit so that it has a cleaner start and end. And I think that's going to work well. So that's also some YouTube content, but it will have some stream talks. It'll start on Friday. That is the, I have no idea what Friday is. Friday is the 14th or in the past, if you're watching this later. Other things, Sekiro, my absolute favorite game right now. Uh, it's unfortunately done. I loved it. I loved it so much. Unfortunately, I was the only one who loved it. So that sucks, but there will be more of these kind of adventure games, story driven games. And as you can see, the stuff that I have on my horizon, I was planning to... Uh, Cyberpunk was the main thing coming up, but that's in September. So in March, we have Doom Eternal and we have Neo 2. Neo is um, a bit like Sekiro. It's an action adventure, action RPG set in Japan. So I think that's going to be very interesting to play that. I'm looking forward to trying something. I want to do something else than just Factorio. I know that the viewers are primarily there for Factorio. Hope that uh, Satisfactory can also draw the same crowd. And then I want to do something else, like more story driven, adventure, that kind of thing. Maybe in the morning, maybe in the evening. I don't know. But um, I hope you want to support me doing other things than just being that one trick pony that you like and hopefully follow. So I'm going to wrap this one up. Uh, thank you very much. Especially thanks to all of you lovely patrons and the people supporting me also on Twitch. If you are an exclusive uh, watcher here on YouTube, I think you should give it a shot and head on over to Twitch. I'm streaming most mornings, most evenings. So um, do drop by and say hi and they say, hey, I came here because you encouraged me to do it. And uh, that's going to be it. Thank you very much for following for subscribing, for pledging, for all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys around either on YouTube, on Twitch, or on Discord. Thank you. Stay effective.